Hey guys, hey Chloe. This is one of our two cats. And this is, she's an indoor cat. So is our other cat, her name is DC. And this is our first time in the RV. I'm starting with Chloe and she's kind of curious. And I'm gonna let her look around a little bit. Say hi to the camera. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna let her explore a little bit and see how she does. Chloe's getting acclimated, but she's meowing a whole lot. And I think she's a little distressed about being in this RV, but it's okay. her meow is a little distressed sounding um, so I think maybe that's enough for today um, I don't have the litter box in here but I'm gonna bring it in here later what are you doing looking around you ready to go inside okay I can't find our other cat DC she's somewhere in the house she likes to hide um, and she doesn't always have one spot she hides in Sometimes she's hiding under the bed. Sometimes it's on a bookshelf. Sometimes it's in the closet. I don't know that I'm gonna get to find her and I'm pretty much done. I kind of get Chloe walking around and um, I'm just gonna shut the AC off and uh, bring her in another time or day if I can't find her again. But Chloe, I think has had enough and I'm probably gonna bring her in. I hope they do fine. The car ride might be tough. We'll have them in kennels. It's not too far. They'll manage just fine, but we got to get them used to this because we're going to be RVing probably two or three months at a time and we have to take them with us. This will be their home away from home as well. Hopefully they get to liking it. So we're taking our cats with us. There's DC and there's Chloe. <laughs> DC's talking for us. They're both talking. And we had them an hour in the car already. We're only going to Huntsville, so it's another hour. But we'll get them bigger carriers, I think. Maybe that will help. Kelly, are you having a great day? Well, we've given them three doses of Benadryl, <laughs> and that's not seeming to help fly at all. So if y'all have suggestions, tell us what to give them. Bug life. This is where we put the litter box. We did an entry from the top, that way it'll be less tracking. And um, I have a vacuum cleaner that I got for in here. It's just like a Dyson, but it's not. <laughs> and I'm gonna use that to clean up the mess before we have to shower. And we're all set up. And the cats are making themselves at home. So there's cat one. Chloe, say hi to camera, hi. She's hiding. And then cat number two, DC. <laughs> say hi for the camera anyway that's what they're doing they're hanging out over there there's chloe dc cried all night until two in the morning and she went and hid somewhere behind the couch okay we're doing good the litter box got cleaned out super easy it doesn't track anything in She's acclimating pretty well. DC on the other hand, I don't know where she's at. She's in hiding. So here it's time for a quick update. After we got back from camping with the cats, I had to think of a solution because one of our cats has claws, the other one doesn't. The one that decided to use some of the furniture as scratching posts, which is not great. Um, but the biggest problem we had was DC would get behind these recliners and she would kind of get wedged in there. It was hard to get her out when we needed to. As it is, uh, it, it is an issue with cats when you've got the, these uh, recliners up because she gets underneath those bars. So if you have cats and you do that, you gotta be real careful when you're putting the recliner up and down to make sure you don't just slam it up or down and catch them in it if you know what I'm saying. Here's the, the situation. There are claw marks. This is our dinette. This is pretty much brand new y'all. 
So she's gotten a hold of that. We have a cat bed and I bought this scratching post while we were on our trip. I really thought it was gonna help with her stopping the scratching and it really didn't. She mainly did it on our rug, which I'm okay with because it's just the one that you can replace easily. Um, and she did catch the back of this recliner, mostly on this side because she went back there and her way to come back up was not underneath the recliner, it was up over <laughs> and for a cat to do that they kind of have to get a hold and there's really not much space you can see there's only probably i don't know four inches of space so she would get way back there and just sleep i think it's okay but the problem is when we try to get her out that was an issue and then also when she did try to get out on her own she was clawing her way out short story long is i have these old just pillows that we've had and I'm gonna try to shove them back here, make sure the recliner still goes back the way we want it, but stack pillows up so that she can't get way down in there. Um, she can sit on the pillow if it's closer up. Okay, I'm pausing here because that was an epic fail. It swallowed about six pillows and still didn't make a difference. For now, where we drape blankets over the back of the couch. So if she does try to claw her way up, maybe she'll claw the blanket rather than the actual couch. If any of you out there are struggling with the same situation, let us know what you did. Maybe it's something we can implement to make our life a little bit better without the destruction of our RV. And please don't say get rid of the cats because that's not an option. I love my fur babies. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye y'all.